President Biden is announcing two major immigration programs today. One is to protect spouses of U.S. citizens from deportation. The other is to make it easier for some migrants, including so-called dreamers, to get work visas. Biden has been under pressure from immigration advocates after his executive order went into effect last month, strictly limiting asylum requests on the southern border. The club Hughes shooter from 2022 is set to be sentenced on hate crime convictions today. Anderson Aldrich killed five people and injured 19 others when he opened fire at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs two years ago. In January, he pled guilty to 74 federal hate crime and gun charges. Prosecutors did not pursue the death penalty. Regardless of the sentence, the 24-year-old will never get out of prison. Today marks one year since the Titan submersible tragedy. The Titan suffered a catastrophic implosion en route to the wreckage of the Titanic last summer. The submersible's failure to resurface on June 18th sparked a massive international search that captured the world's attention for days. All five passengers on board the Titan were killed instantly. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, its investigation remains active. Boeing CEO is testifying before Congress today where he is expected to admit the company is far from perfect. Dave Calhoun will appear before a Senate subcommittee and address whistleblower complaints about the company's safety culture. This will be his first appearance before Congress since January's incident when a door plug blew off the side of a Mac 737 jet in mid-flight. If you own a home, you've likely noticed the cost of living has spiked. A recent study by Bankrate.com found the cost of owning and maintaining a home has jumped 26% in the last four years. Even as inflation overall cooled slightly last month, home expenses continued to rise. The bad news is experts say these high home costs aren't likely to go away anytime soon. Thousands of pet owners across the country are now being told their pet insurance policies are being dropped nationwide. The company is blaming the rising cost of veterinary care. The average cost for pet insurance is a little over $50 a month for dogs and around $30 a month for cats. Just over a year after launching it, Apple is pulling the plug on its Buy Now, Pay Later service. As of yesterday, Apple stopped issuing loans through its Apple Pay Later. Current users can still manage loans through the wallet app. Apple is shifting focus to new installment loan features that will roll out later this year. The National Park Service is waiving entry fees at all national parks tomorrow in honor of Juneteenth. June 19th is a national holiday celebrating the end of slavery in the U.S. This year is the first time it will be a free entry day at U.S. national parks. Now, while entry will be free, fees will remain in effect for parking and activities like camping and fishing. The Boston Celtics have won their 18th NBA championship, surpassing the Lakers for the most title wins in NBA history. The Celtics blew out the Dallas Mavericks last night, 106-88 to in Game 5. Big performances from Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown helped Boston put the game away early, and Jalen Brown was named MVP. And that's today's 9 at 9.